Hey, what's up guys? Sahaman so back with another Marvel figure review. And today we're going to be taking a look at the Jada Toys Metal Diecast Deadpool. 100% metal heavy. It says that right there. So this is a figure I've been looking forward to ever since they announced it. I know they're going to be coming out with a variant. If you guys follow uh, Jada Toys or Metal Diecast on Instagram, they, they give you hints before they release a figure or after they release a figure that they will be coming out with, um, <clears throat> with variants. So, uh... There's a packaging right here. I do like the packaging on this one. You got a really cool image of um, <clears throat> Deadpool here, metal die cast, and kind of like a hologram little color. Uh, you got Deadpool right there. And then right here on the back, it shows you all the figures from, actually from Civil War. But uh, you got Deadpool right there at the bottom, and you can see right there it is a four inch scaled figure. There's a window on the top too. So that's it for the packaging. Let's go ahead and open this bad boy up. Go give it to ya. Fuck way for you to get it on your own. X go deliver to ya. Knock knock. Open up the door. It's real. With the non-stop pop out from stainless steel. Go hard getting busy with it. But I got such a good heart that I make the motherfucker wonder if you did it. Damn right, and I do it again. Cause yeah. I am like so I got to win. Break bread with the enemy. A very cool figure, guys. I really like how this guy came out. Uh, again, he is all. Looks like it's it's pretty much all metal die cast. Yep, looks it feels to be that way. Um, none of the accessories that you can see that he's holding, none of it is removable. You can see he does have a knife in one of his hands. In his holsters, he does have a gun. You can see that right there, a little bit of detail going on. He has, also has another one on the left side. You can see all the little pouches that he's got going on in the belt. He has the sheaths right here with the swords. Unfortunately, they're not removable. I think they should. I mean, if they're going to come out with more versions of Deadpool, which I kind of think they, they probably will, um, I think there's going to be a white one they're going to be doing. I don't know. But uh, they should have came out with one where he's holding guns or where he's holding swords. But again, I'm pretty sure Jada Toys will give us some variants. You have the, uh, the head sculpt. Actually, let's look at the head sculpt first. I think I just mumbled that. So you can see the head sculpt right here. It looks kind of weird the way it's, um, the way it's kind of shaped. But it still looks great. I love the big white eyes. You can see the ear, the top of the mask right here, the fold. And just like all the other Jada toys, you can see the screws right there, the whole, the screw holes right there, same there at the bottom of the uh, legs. But I like that he is doing the peace sign, which is really cool. And you can see he's got the buff body. He's got the Deadpool logo belt right there. And he's got his boots. You can see just the black and red, but overall this is a very nice figure. The bottom of the boots are actually more so like the sides right here. It does have a little bit of sculpting detail, but um, there is no articulation on this guy. If you guys want to see a size comparison, here he is next to the other Jada Toys Aquaman. Very nice. I have no idea where I put my Captain America and Iron Man. Otherwise, I'd do a comparison with those there two. You have it, guys, a quick little look at the Jada Toys Metal Diecast Deadpool figure. This is, other than the Batman and versus Superman figures, this is the one I've been looking forward to. Um, I guess you can say the most, other than those figures. The Iron Man, the Captain America one, were okay. Uh, I do want to see the six inch version of those, but um, this one is really cool. So, hopefully, Jada Toys, if you guys are watching me, I hope you guys are. Uh, make a six inch version of this guy with some removable weapons. I think that would be so cool if you did that or even like an unmasked version of this guy and you can see his little pizza face. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this quick little review. If you guys want to pick this up, you guys can go to BigBadToyStore.com. Click on the link in the description. You can pre-order him. If not, they do have this at Hot Topic and Toys R Us also sell these um, figures. I think Target might have these too. But let me know what you guys think about this. Hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, share the guy. Share the video if you guys want to. I was going to say share the guy. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you guys later. Take care. Peace. Stay tuned for more reviews. Peace out, guys. Hope you guys are having a good one.